bothering to carry all that junk. when you're ready to launch.
acid. Enjoy that Aquila City here. Here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co., first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city, and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. Ah, okay, okay. Smartass. This is why I don't like bringing it up. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. Yes? I'm listening. Fine by me. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grav jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> 
Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession. But you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. I'll be here. Glad to haul whatever you need. So long. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the marshal if you want the whole story. Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbang vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. If you make a move toward the building, a hostage dies. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you. Not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. It's a hostage situation. Now please, get back, or I'll have the guards drag you away. 
I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they've just stayed home. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him, and don't try nothing. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Jed. Jed Bullet. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Well, maybe that's just what you want us to think, so we'll give up. Yeah, I'm already sick to death of this place. I... I see what you mean. We're staying as long as it takes. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. They talk too damn much. We complain about everything. But as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. Drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Then persuade the Marshal that it ain't. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a... Quick hit. Clean is simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know 
about how much longer we can last. What do you mean? I know, I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. Part of me just wants to be rid of these people. But we need them right where they are. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Security around here is... I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Yeah, you're right. You gave those boys a chance, but now they have to lie in the bed they made. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Those robbers are screwed. team.
Thank you so much. Now I have two heroes, Solomon Cole and you. Are they safe? Is that so? Shame it had to come to that. But you got the job done and saved lives. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives are on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Shimon. Here. This is for you. Marco! Are you right? They didn't hurt you, did they? It's okay. Well, I see your parents didn't skimp on your P's and Q's. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. I wouldn't dream of it. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Who knows? Check in with me now and again and I might find more. so much has laid a hand on you. No, no, nothing like that. Of course, that old mule saw this coming. He's just a bitter old man, interfering in what's none of his business. Now we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Yeah, not wrong. Uh, it's not supposed to be your business. That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm done talking. You'll find out soon enough, okay? Let's just get going. Breathing. Back 
you're normally in? Mostly. Still feels a little weird, though. I guess I'm not used to having a two. Just let me drink all the peace. Seems that way. That's pretty crazy, even by Shawkang standards. Well, nobody ever accused those boys of having an overabundance of common sense. Ain't that the truth? Need something? You got some business with me? Which one? Damn, Diego. How do you do it? Do That's so. Well, you found your way to the right person. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Sure, but we Rangers work across the whole of Freestar Collective space. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But, do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. But, yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen Rangers at any one time. Okay then, a word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? I prefer a more practical kind of evaluation. I'll give you the details if you want to join up. Might be a good fit for you. The Rangers can do a lot of good. Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. You helped out with the hostage situation, but sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what, use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. Oh, got no lack of confidence, have you? Well, let's see if you back it up. Well, hey there. That's The Rock, Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. We'll take it from here. I'm just saying, my family was on the first ship. Proper founders. My family... Kind of 
weird reaching out to them instead of the other way around, isn't it? Pretty convinced. Roach? I know, I trust you, but... Record streak. I'm only one away. Again! Roach! You know what happened the last time I was paired up? I don't want it. Roach! This new one to... What? Our new potential recruit. He's standing, He's standing right, right here. Yeah, I said I know. I'm aware of his presence, have been since he walked in the door. I said what I said. I stand by it. And rookie, don't you dare let me down. You got a lot to prove around here. The hunt continues. I hope you fare well. You prompt. Good trait for a tracker. Anyhow, we can talk about punctuality or we can get down to business. I am agent number one, or no one, if you prefer. I take it you've had enough bounty hunting on your own. I'm glad you have decided to entertain our offer. Understood. Being visited by a tracker can be intimidating. Despite what others may tell you, a little fear can be healthy. That being said, we devoted resources to reach out to you that we could have used elsewhere. Were I you, I would feel honored by that. Caution is the wise guardian of life's path, ensuring each step is both safe and sound. But I would also caution you to consider this more fully, as our offer to join us may not remain indefinitely. It may be prudent then to give you a taste of what we do here before you make your decision. I propose a trial run, tracker field work. Do you have any questions before we proceed? You don't, nor do we need you specifically. Our partnership can be mutually beneficial. You would have access to valuable bounties you might otherwise not. In turn, your skills will be useful to us, as we seek to retrieve our most elusive quarries. Understood. I urge you not to delay too long. finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. There's only one place a co ought to be. And it ain't out there in the Starfield doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. Give me a sec. 
All right, let's talk options. No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. Fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll go get her. I just, if there's any other options, I'd appreciate doing those first. Sam's Constellation Lackey here to bother me again? That's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. Not liking your attitude. You really believe that, don't you? I know all about your group's reputation. It's not what concerns me. I can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. See if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Hey, if they're willing to trade, all the better. But the Shawgang is a uh, shoot-first kind of outfit. All right, time's a-wasted. Let's get to that cave. <laughs> 